What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with another video. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hop back in another webtoon one shot. And this one is called Zombie Slasher. Now, okay, I know it says Zombie X Slasher, but it's like Hunter Hunter. I'm assuming it's something like that. Instead of Hunter X Hunter, it's actually Hunter Hunter, but you get the general gist of what I'm trying to say. So, y'all know how we do on webtoon one shots. It's all about helping the creator get more eyes in the series, as well as to always add one extra thing to our ever expanding reading list. So, without further ado, Let's get into the video. Hi, right, what's up everybody? You already know the deal. Before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Want to take support any further? Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our Top of Game membership and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Starts off in a familiar setting. Okay, somebody's dying, I'm guessing. Zombies appear. Excuse me. Are you all right? Leave him, honey. Let's go. Are you? See, this is it, this is really how it always starts. It's always like, oh, somebody's hurt, somebody's sick. Hey, man, you all right? And then all hell breaks loose. See, it, it was at this point when somebody, you know what? I'm gonna let's keep going. And started attacking people at random. New zombie outbreak spreading quickly around the capital region. Stay indoors and avoid contact. Yeah, that shit ain't gonna work, bro. They're coming, run. People ran for their lives. And are getting shot, Lord Jesus. And the government created a safety zone. By building a wall around Busan. Oh, not training Busan, bro. I've seen this, I've seen this movie. It's great, by the way, love it. Second one, eh. We don't talk about the second one. First one, yeah. First wall of defense, Busan. Now, here comes a question. Given the circumstances, what is the biggest problem people will have to face? Is it the 30 million zombies outside the wall? They're, what is this, World War Z? They're climbing the wall. Busan temporary shelter, one day refugee camp. Those are my supplies. Oh, and now they're fighting over supplies. Okay. Give it up already, you little brat. Bro, this man beating the kid? Dog, stop. Or the people who have become heartless in order to survive? That is a good question. That is a very good question. Um, you guys answer that in the in the chat. Which one is worse? Becoming heartless and trying to survive? Or the 30 million zombies trying to kill you? I don't know. Both, both is kind of bad, really, when you kind of think about it. Yeah. Okay. The police subdue the riding bastards. Move out. Okay, so they like, nah, bro. We ain't about to be having no riding. Not on our watch. Not on our watch. We ain't about to be having no riding. Or is it the corrupt government that treats its citizens like they're just a bunch of rats? No. The real problem is housing. Housing prices? I, I was not expecting that. Okay. Housing prices. The refugees from all over the country flocked into a single city, creating an outrageous demand for housing. Housing prices skyrocketed by a hundredfold. About 120 million for 1140. She devil is a liar. Lease prices rose to 47 times. 23 million for 850. What is this, New York? And rent prices to 30 times their previous levels. 13,000 a month for 500 square feet. For those with no homes. The zombie infested areas outside the wall. And the cold hunger struck camps within the walls. Were equally hellish. And a hero of our story. Jeez. 
Charles Sue Kim, 23 years old, construction worker, doesn't have a home. The hell are you looking at? Never seen a homeless guy before? Much like you, who's reading this comic? <laughs> okay, now, I, I love the way to introduce the story. I love it. 39.5 billion won. She devil is a liar. Yes, the hero of our story doesn't have a home. Mornings, afternoons, and late nights. I work all day except for 2.5 hours I use for sleeping. At least you swore the old boy, that boy been in the gym. To earn 4.5 million won per month. If I don't spend anything out of my wage, saving 39.5 billion won will take me that long, huh? 731 years. Bro, you might as well die. I'm just keep it real. He might as well just kick the bucket now, people. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, bro. Obviously, I'll never be able to afford a house with an honest wage. Then the only other option is that crap. The nation wants you this time. We're retaking the Pohong Steel Industrial Zone. So going hunting zombies, I'm assuming. Or go and clear out different locations where zombies to kind of bring back society, I'm assuming. Yes, you watching this broadcast. Are you starving? Are you sick and tired of living on the streets? Do you hate zombies? For creating this mess. Then I have just one thing for you. The National Counteroffensive Movement. My fellow citizens, we won't let zombies ruin our lives anymore. Kill the zombies outside the wall. Bring back evidence of the kill and we'll pay you 5 million won per head. The opportunity of your lifetime waits outside the wall. I mean, it's not like things are any better within the walls, right? I mean, if you're poor, then hell yeah. So you're here for the National Counter-Offensive Campaign. Yeah, me boy, you ain't no much better. We'll need, oh, we'll need train fees and your death waiver. Death waiver, bro? We have to sign a death waiver? That's 1.05, 1.1, 1.15, and 1.2. A total of 1.2 trillion won. Here's your ticket to Pohang, the target area. Go to the platform number three. So you telling me we got to pay to go to our deaths, bro? That's crazy, bro. That's insane. I spent my emergency savings and I stole these shovels from the construction site. I'm going all in. Well, technically, our boy ain't got much of a choice. Today, I will either end up as a zombie or a homeowner who can do whatever the hell he wants in his own home. Either way, I'm going to sell this once and for all. Actually, I'm proud of my boy. My boy gonna get himself a home. Who this? Who we knocked over? These old measly, bl blunt ass bow and arrows. <laughs> Girl, what are you doing? What are you, a truck or something? That hurt, you know. Crossbows. Nice. And then they still on the cross. <laughs> Shameless. 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 Wait, those are mine. Anything on the ground is free for the taking. I could really use more weapons since we'll be hunting zombies. Don't you people have any decency anymore? How am I supposed to kill zombies now? He, she ain't lying, bro. That's kind of that's kind of childish. Could have get her girl her shit back. Why are you pulling her hair? Kill zombies? What a joke! You can't even keep a weapon to yourself. Hand the crossbow over and go home. No, you know what? You could be our bait. Ain't this about a bit? That's what I'm saying. Somebody help that girl. Let her go, fam. And give her her shit back. What's this? A knight in shining armor. Let go, punk. What a joke. He just bitch slapped the shit out of him. I can't focus on the zombies with people like you in the mix. You're going after other people instead of zombies. This is where it ends for you. Thank you. Don't thank me. I thought it'd be nice to have a ranged weapon. <laughs> <laughs> that man still gonna steal a shit. 
I can never afford one, but I guess today is my lucky day. <laughs> what? <laughs> that man say nah. But you need the arrows, fam. What's all this noise? Are they starting a riot? Something like that. Let them be. They're riding to their deaths anyway. You know, they're probably the most unfortunate people in all of Busan right now. Have some sympathy for them. He whooped their ass though and still took a shit. That's kind of disrespectful. Look how hyped up, hyped up they are. This whole operation is just a means to call the population and they have no idea. Those fools. That makes sense. It's really just a means to weed out the population, bring prices back down, keep inventory up to a decent standard. Yeah, that sounds like the government for you. The target area of the 17th National Counteroffensive Operation, Pohong Station. Are we at the station? Where are the zombies? Where did all the soldiers go? What are we supposed to do here? Bro, she's still trying to get her shit back and he not giving it to her. He childish. Testing, testing. May I have your attention to all of you participating in the 17th National Counteroffensive Movement? What's with the loudspeaker? Are you... Are they kidding? The zombies are attracted to sound. Thank you for coming all the way out here. As you might already know, the population density in Busan is at critical levels. So, we have decided to call the population to achieve desirable levels of land. Oh, of land area per capita. Therefore. Fuck, what the hell is going on? Busan and the national government will never forget your sacrifice. Well, at least they told them they was about to die. I mean, I guess that's... At least you ain't just let them think they actually had a chance to survive. So, it's kind of fucked up. When the suit afterward was quite simple. Chaos. Son of a bitch, turn off that speaker. You're attracting the zombies. And that train is gone. You bastard, Stop. Why are you doing this to us? Oh, you done for. <laughs> he is done for, people. Mayhem. Let me in. You can close the door. <laughs> oh, you can close the door after me. No, why they beating that man, bro? Get lost. You're blocking the door. Should have let him in, bro. If you let him in, you probably wouldn't be, be dead right now. Living hell. This is insane. This is my crossbow, but I'll rent it to you. It'll cost you 10 zombies. What? Are you going to fight them? Don't tell me you're going to jump into that hell. I need 7,900. First of all, how you... First of all, you steal her crossbow. Then you're going to charge her to rent the crossbow. Her crossbow that you just stole. Talk about swindling. Slimy, bro. God damn. My boy said, I want my money too. I'm about to I'm about to kill Buku zombies and get all the fucking money. My boy said, I am tired of being homeless. And that's the number of zombies I need to kill tonight. The emergence of a hero. That's a lot of zombies you plan on killing, my boy. I must be honest with you. Ooh. The art is beautiful, by the way. Oh, okay. Bro, you telling me a zombie just used a spear? What the heck? Ain't no goddamn way. He like, gotta get the shovel. I have to get the shovel. He still back up though. Fail. Fail. Why does it look like the scene where y'all, you know, y'all seen Game of Thrones, the John, the famous iconic Jon Snow scene during the Battle of the Bastards? Why does it look like that, bro? If you haven't seen Game of Thrones, go watch it. It's a good show, by the way. 
Never read the books though, so don't don't ask me about. Don't I don't want to hear nobody saying the books were better. I never read it. I don't know how the books are. I assume the books are better because it has more detail and all of this stuff. And of course, they cut stuff here and out because you gotta make it fit. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Let continue. Swack up, whack up. Hey, he doing his thing though. This man is the reincarnation of Lord Frontera, fam. This man is a god with a shovel. This man is a god with the shovel. And she's like, oh my. Remember, you have to bring the heads back, fam. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, bro. One man by himself. <laughs> hey. Hey. How much money that is? Are you all right? No thanks to you. Shut up and start counting the zombies. It's time to cash in. Why do you need to earn money so badly? So I can live in a house, don't you? Aren't you afraid of dying? I'm buying a house. Preferably one with a garden. <laughs> this man. This man say, I'm doing it for the house, man. I don't care if it's a 550 foot square foot shit. And y'all watch this? Ain't this about a bitch? They actually watched it. How many did that bastard kill? I counted about 8,000 zombies, sir. It didn't even take one whole episode for our hero to achieve his dream. I really loved how they, the way they started this series. I really loved it. I loved how they started off this series with the first chapter. Absolutely amazing. Funny. I love it. Corporal Kim. What is it? There are zombies at our 12 o'clock. How many? One? No, two. What the hell? You haven't seen zombies before? Don't make a fuss and just wake me up over two zombies, you moron. Hmm. Would you look at that? It's dragging a bag along. Looks like it had a nasty meal, too. It's all soaked in blood. Contact the platoon commander and request permission to fire the live rounds. Wait. What the hell is that? Over here, we're humans. Don't shoot. So, how are we going to know? Well, okay. So, they know we killed all these zombies, right? They know this. I want, I want to make sure we get our money. And that's why I want, I want to make sure our boy gets his money. You killed 8,021 zombies. The prize is 5 million per head, which comes to a total of 40.105 billion won. $40 million pretty much. We will pay out the bounty at once. In exchange, we ask you to keep anything related to the mission a secret. We'll need your thumbprints here. Sir, that's a lot of money. Do we really have it to give to him? That maniac cut the noses off of all the zombies and brought them over so we wouldn't cheat him out of it. If we don't pay him, he might cut our noses. I mean, that was the only way you can bring back so many zombies. Because I really was going to ask, how the hell he going to fit all that? And, you know, how the hell he going to bring all these zombies? Give him the money for now. We'll take it all back later. After all, it is public service duty. Ain't that about a bitch? Not to waste taxes. They going to tax the shit out of us? You childish bastard, you. Hey, mister, where are you headed? That's 30 million won after the rental fee for using a crossbow. There, it's settled. Now, stop following me. Okay, so he rented the crossbow from her. Got you. I thought it was the other way around. You're going to buy a house, right? Invite me to... Oh, invite me over when you find a place. I'll bring housewarming gifts. It cost him approximately 39.5 billion won. Our hero purchased a house with a small garden near the Sosan district of Busan. It's your home now. 
That man said, I'm about to have a fucking bed, you feel me, with a garden. I ain't going to hunt no more zombies. And he lived happily ever after. Until he realized he needed furniture. But that would make. Don't come on, fam. He about to step on a nail? Much of a story, would it? No, it wouldn't make dark blood. Oh, and about those hideous noses in the bags of shovel. You can leave them here. Items covered in zombie blood can pose a security risk. Those bastards. What the hell? Wait, wait, what? What is go? Are we turning into a zombie or some shit? Chaosu. I know we got separated from mom and dad during the evacuation, but I still believe they're alive. That's why I'm going to buy a house. A house? Yeah. We'll get a house with a garden and put our names on the front door. That way, mom and dad will be able to find us. Ain't this about a bitch? They set us up. They set us up. They put zombie blood and put it on the floor so we can all you dirty bitches. Hello, K, you hear me? Addressing the survivor of the 17th National Counteroffensive Operation, or should I say, the now infected Mr. Chosu Kim. Sir, I'm not sure if we should aggravate him. What if he goes on a rampage? And we really didn't have to do this on this moving day. I feel this is quite inhumane. Look, once word gets around that someone survived a national counteroffensive program, the slashers might get a move on to recruit him. Besides, who cares about this little rampage? In accordance with the Zombie Prevention Act of Paragraph 3 of Article 1, Mr. Charles Kim will be terminated due to infection. Furthermore, by paragraph 7 of Article 3, all his assets will be confiscated. He said, hold on, bro. <laughs> I'll blow open the door like, hold on, fam. Come again and say what? Come again and say what? Confiscated? You say confiscated, huh? Splendid. He's definitely been infected. First, the zombies. Then poverty. And now, even the government, all I ever was a, having trouble with your words, Mr. Zombie, all I ever wanted was a house. <laughs> that man said, why does the whole world have a problem with that? I just want a home to wait for my family in. My boy about to whoop all y'all asses, bro. Y'all brought this on yourselves. What the fuck is your problem with that? So did we win? I'm just curious. Aqua City. Did we whoop their ass? That's all I want to know. Ma'am, the client book for 530 is here. Tell him to wait. I'll be right out. Okay, leave some. Okay, hold on. Let me see who these girls is. Come on, hold on, hold on now. Yes, ma'am. Sorry to keep you waiting. Slasher Company Troy and Jane, director Asia on Troy. So that was her? I mean, I knew it was her, but I didn't think she was the director of the Slasher Company. Okay. The reservation was for Mr. Myonko Jong, ma'am. So, Mr. Jong, what brings you to my company? Oh, I was told you can retrieve objects from zombie areas. I see, yes, you're in the right place. This is Troy and Jane, and we specialize in handling various zombie-related matters, such as clearing the zombie-infested areas or retrieving objects and people. We also manage a number of slashers who are extremely proficient in killing zombies. 5.2, They're super expensive. The prices may vary according to the location or the size of the object you wish to retrieve. 
For example, it would cost you more if we have to retrieve a 450 pound steel safe from a large city crawling with zombies. Um, yes. I wasn't told about your prices. I only have 100 million won at the moment. Secretary Park. Why am I wasting my time with this bum? Oh, she a little asshole too. Okay, okay. Drag him out right away. Wait, the object itself was worth more than 50 billion won. I brought some cryptocurrency for fun before the zombie infestation, and the value rose by a thousand fold in the last few years while the dollar and won all plummeted. I will give you a part of the profit after selling the cryptocurrency if you could retrieve the hard drive containing it. Oh, I see. Oh, not, not she friendly again. Ain't that about a bitch? But the slashes in this catalog are very expensive. Do you have anyone cheaper? Cheaper? That's right, there was a crew who recently caught my attention. I can try contacting him. A recruit? Please, make sure you find the item. I'm counting on you. I didn't know we had a recruit. Did you hire someone during a counteroffensive operation, ma'am? Well, I can't say I've hired him yet, but I'm about to. That's why I'm going out. Get things ready while I change clothes. Call in Sang Soo Ha to be my bodyguard. He doesn't have any assignments, right? Not after everyone in the industry heard of how he beats up his client. Yes, ma'am. I'll get him ready right away. Oh, and I'll need a pack of toilet rolls as a housewarming gift. She's still sexy, though. I'll give her that. She might be a little bit of asshole-ish, but, you know, I'm still down with it. I, I can deal with it. All right, so back to our boy, man, because all he ever wanted was a house. He just wanted a house, man, and they just messing with our boy. Do not force anyone into a corner. The soldiers and politicians lived by this tactic rule after the wall was built because there was no telling what someone could do once they were backed into a corner. So in other words, they don't look. You back somebody in the corner, they really back off. You zombie bastard. But these guys have stepped way over the line. Oh, that's right. I'm infected. Oh, you gonna bite him? Oh, <laughs> you jumped. He said, fuck it. I'm infected. I'm taking everybody out. Yo. Yo. Get that asshole off him. Kick him off now. Let him go. He said, fuck it. I'm biting. I'm biting. Yo. I did not see him doing that. Yo. So is he going to turn into a zombie? Shit, he bit him. That bastard infected him on purpose. Shoot, whoever's been bitten in the head, that zombie fucking st can still think. So he might be in touch. Oh, he might be tough to handle for now. But just give him. Oh, but just give it three minutes. He'll be completely infected by then. Just keep pushing him into a corner until he completely turns. You morons. There are more than a dozen of you. What are you so scared about? Do you not want your next paychecks? What goes the next paycheck if I turn into a zombie, sir? I'm just asking, asking for a friend. What good is the next paycheck if we all turn into zombies? Money. No one is taking anything from me. You're not dragging me out of here. This is my home. Ooh, my boy, this panel's clean. He was just another guy turning into a zombie. The only problem was, this particular guy was a beast who single-handedly killed 8,000 zombies. Yo, he w he turned, oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's what y'all get, though. That's what y'all get though. You wanted this work, you gonna get it. You back me into a corner now, yeah. Sir, help me. Nah, you a zombie now, bro. Ain't no helping you. But he's just one fucking guy. How did it all go so wrong? Now, isn't that a gruesome sight? Hmm? Oh, this must be old boy. This, mo this must be old boy she was talking about. Who are you? Cho and Jane Company, Class B Slasher, Sengu Ha. 
the lawnmower kills 77,890. Oh, he got a high kill count. Wait, that, that lawnmower is Sung Soo Ha, the slasher. Did the ministry send him? It doesn't matter. I'm Mushi Kim, the leader of Mullet's Team 3. Help me. What should I do with him, ma'am? Isn't that interesting? Oh, shit. <laughs> she is bad. She is bad. God damn. I love her get up. I didn't know zombies could talk. What are you saying? <laughs> right away, ma'am. <laughs> Don't you dare. Do you know who I am? Damn, they really sliced his head off. <laughs> oh, shit. They really sliced his head off. Hey man, dead men can't be witnesses. Dead men can't be witnesses. Ain't no witnesses around here. Let's go. Whew. I'm done with the rest of them. What about Mr. Homeowner here? His eyes are cloudy. I say he's almost zombified. Should I just cut his throat? Wait. He managed to delay the zombification process while we got rid of all the zombies. That's some incredible willpower. Once I make a slasher out of him, I can sell him for a really good price. He's mine. I'll cut your salary if you lay a finger on him. Yo, this bitch is crazy. She fine, but she crazy. God damn it. Why do I always fall into the trap? Why, people? Why do, why do your boy always fall into the trap? Y'all know my trap record is horrible. God damn it. Well, we can't have that. Right? He's like, don't cut my pay. I need my monies. Hey, mister, can you hear me? Do you want to survive? The hell? He just caught up hair? If you do, then you have to answer me. What? Survive? Can't you see? I'm becoming a zombie. Professionals in zombie related services are called slashers. It applies to you, the tall guy. Oh, it applies to you, the tall guy here. And me. I survived the first ever campaign. It's a career available to those who survived the National Counter Offensive Operation and have the exceptional, exceptional skills in killing zombies. It's a high paying job and you can earn bonuses by working for companies, military groups, and politicians who wish to occupy lands outside the wall. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm turning into... Say, you'll do it and I'll give you the cure. But you'll have to repay the price by working as a slasher. Let me ask you one more time. Even if it means living through this hell and working like a dog. Do you still want to live? Time out. Time the fuck out. So we have a cure, and yet we... What is... We have a cure, and we're worried about zombies. We have a cure. <laughs> we have a cure. Why, why are we worried about people getting bit, and we have cures? Shit, why are you dragging this out? Nobody wants to die. Just fucking inject it already. Right, the IOU. Wow, that's evil. Do you have to take his thumbprints like that? The cure you just gave him cost 500 bi per shot? That's ridiculous. Sure, saving his life is more important, but when 500 billion is on the line, this is standard procedure. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows you're all about the money. Anyway, you're one pitiful motherfucker. But at least it's better than dying. Bro, you not not when you about to work me like a slave shit. You can kiss my ass on that. I don't know. We gotta talk about that. You about to work me like a fucking slave. I don't know, man. I'm just be real with you. I don't know about this, homie. Oh hey, you're up. Who are you and where am I? What do you reckon? You're in my cap, of course. More importantly, what do you remember? What do I remember? 
I went to Pohang, killed some zombies, and bought a house. I got infected by zombie blood. But I look fine. So you do remember something. Do you also remember the lady with silver hair? Do you still want to live? That was silver hair. It looked kind of blondish to me. Like, am I, am I colorblind or something? Was she the one with the gas mask? She was definitely there when I got infected. Good. Tap the tablet there and watch the clip. It should answer some of your questions. I'd explain things to you, but I need to keep my eyes on the road. Where the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Where is this? Where is this man taking us? Why is he taking us in the middle of a goddamn... First of all, that man can drive. He got some dominant Toretto with him. Hello, mister. Ain't John Choi, and I'll be instructor for the crash course to becoming a slasher. So, who the hell is she exactly? How was your nap? Now, what is a slasher? As I mentioned the other day, it refers to... A ref to a professional who provides zombie related services. Their activities include the recapture of territory, item retrieval, survivor rescue, and hits against specific targets. I have a question, ma'am. Why do we need private contractors to recapture territory or rescue survivors when we have the government and military? Yes, great question. That's due to the shortage of supplies and a lack of political will from the government. The government lost most of its supplies and munitions factories at the on site. Oh, onset of the zombie outbreak and soon started running out of ammunition and gunpowder for their equipment. Now, they barely have enough ammunition to shoot zombies off the walls and maintain peace within the city. So the government decided to make use of people instead, since there were more humans to spare. And those who are particularly good at killing zombies came to have a profession known as slashers. And you, my dear student, I mean, mister, you are now part of this industry. Me? Says who? You're not the boss of me, bitch. <laughs> I bet you're thinking, why should I? I don't want to do this. Sound by right? Like, goddammit. Well, that's because you owe us a whole lot of money, mister. What money? Don't give me that bullshit. Would you? <laughs> This bitch is crazy, boy. Remember the cure that saved you seconds before you almost turned into a zombie. Hey, man, that's kind of that's kind of asshole, as I must admit. A relatively unknown pharmaceutical company developed a cure, but its effect was only discovered much later. SD Pharmaceuticals anti mutation zombie called Zombex. Anti mutation drug called Zombex. And now each shot costs 500 billion won on the market. If I give you the current bank interest rate of 23%, your interest will be 115 billion won per 23% interest. Twenty three percent interest. Are you fucking insane? That means you'll work exclusively for my company and be my personal servant until you pay off the principal and the interest. You said it yourself. You wanted to live. Technically, no, we didn't. Now get your ass to work. Like what the fuck? Done with the video rookie? Did he get you up to speed? We know who fucking Troy is. You sure put in a lot of effort for this bullshit. I'm leaving. Pulling over. I'll have to pull over anyway. Take a look out the window. Ain't that about a bitch. Your mission is to break through that swarm. To get to downtown Guangzhou and find a hard drive. With what fucking weapons? I'm going to drive away. Oh, I'm going to drive away from them and stay somewhere safe. So use the radio to contact me when the job is done. 
Don't get any ideas, or I suppose you could find yourself a home with a garden right here with the zombies. But if you want to get back to Busan, stick to what you do best. Kill those zombies. That's some bullshit, bro. <laughs> Boy, that's some bullshit. What in the hell? Well, shit. <laughs> My boy's like, well, fuck. Guess I ain't got no choice. Our hero, Charles Su Kim, had gone inside the walls to avoid the zombies. He then went back out because he couldn't stand the poverty. And now death has driven him outside again. Now, get your ass to work. It was a truly ridiculous turn of events. But what choice does he have? The world always forces the weak to make a choice. Slash your company, Choi and Jane. I'm about to shoot this bitch, bro. Her hair is kind of silver now that I look at her, though. Now that I look at her again, her hair is, is, is kind of a grayish, but it could have been like a real... I mean, it is kind of silver, but I, I, I digress. Okay. I delivered the package. He seems pissed, but he was one keen fella. He'll get the job done with flying colors. Thank you. I'll send you a check for the trip. And don't forget to take some drone footage of him. You got it. Do you think the rookie will do as he is told? He hasn't been trained yet. Perhaps it was too soon to send him out. He'll be fine. I smell the hound on him. Besides, what choice does he have? He'll have to listen. Damn it, this is so fucked. I don't blame him. I don't blame you, boy. We're not talking about the kind of money he can make by running a food cart here. He owes me 500 billion, remember? That's so fucked up, bro. This is, I feel so bad for our boy, man. He just wanted to live in this house peacefully and they keep messing with him. Our boy just wanted to buy a house with a garden and live happily ever after. Nope, they couldn't let our boy live. Oh, goddamn, they got our ankle. Okay. He stumped a mud hole in the zombie. Okay. Let's go. I mean, we killed 8,000 zombies before, so technically I'm not really worried about us killing a couple of zombies. The problem is, our boy is in debt. How are we going to get out of debt? Quick, fast, and in a hurry. It's gonna take us a long time, but 23% interest ain't no joke. Stump. Slash. Cut. That's a big ass zombie. God damn. Crush. And slice through them. Wow, look at him go. I was worried about his first mission, but he's already cleaning up the zombies. How do you like the ankle, boss? Not bad. Don't forget to record that feed, Mr. Troy. We'll need that for the promotion video. To the successful beginnings of a new slasher, the shovel guy from some yawn. Cheers. Damn, we can't even get a cool name. The name we get is shovel guy. That's the best we can get? Bro, that's disrespectful. You could at least gave us something else other than Shuffle Guy. She's messed up for sure, that witch. How could she slap a 500 billion debt on someone unconscious? It seemed Charles who had accepted the reality and started working to pay off his debt. Zombies, poverty, the government, and now that puny little loan shark. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Do I look like easy prey to you? Is that it? Well, damn you. Why the hell are you doing this to me? He was furious. And he was only beating up zombies to blow off steam. I'm not going to just agree to pay the money back. I'll be a servant for the rest of my life. I have to pay off that kind of money. Pretty much. He said, I'll find that bitch. She'll tear up the IOU once I get there with a shovel and threaten to crack her head open. Problem is, how do I find her? 
How do I get back to Busan? If I pretend to comply and complete the mission, maybe she'll bring me back to Busan and agree to see me. I hate to please them by doing this, but my best shot right now is to finish this task as quickly as I can. This some bullshit, bro. My our guy just really wants to live peacefully. And that's really all he wanted to do. Maybe plant a couple of flowers here and there and just chill. I guess I can stop filming now since he went inside the building. He's definitely one of them. What that mean? The gifted ones who are experts at killing zombies. Those can use their intelligent instinct and physical prowess to locate things. It's not like we wanted to though. Let's be honest here. The boss surely has an eye for talent. Every slasher she finds is a beast. I wish I could earn like them so my daughter can have a better life. Isn't that right, princess? I mean, what's the point of earning the money like we do when we're in 500 billion won of debt and the interest rate is 23% per year? Like, I'm just being honest. Like, what is the purpose? What's this chunk of meat? The cut is too clean, as if someone sliced it. This isn't some zombie leftover. It's the work of a human. Huh? Who the hell is that? What kind of dickhead? Hey, is that a bomb? Oh. Fuck. Is that a cell phone alarm? Oh, it was a Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty. A cell phone alarm? Who did this? God damn it. God damn it. There are so many computer parts here. Which one is a hard drive? So it wasn't, obviously it wasn't us. The zombie apocalypse started before I ever got to take computer classes. Elementary school <laughs> dropout. <laughs> How am I supposed to know what a hard disk looks like? 30 minutes later. You, I'll get you for this gas mask. I mean, Lone Shark. He packed everything he could find. I can't believe she made me go through this. I kill her, I swear. I got the item. Actually, I grabbed everything that looks like it. So, come and pick me up. I'm going to kill you if I... Oh, if you tell me to go all the way back to where you dropped me off. Answer me. Hey, driver. Damn. So who is the person? I said I got the package. Get over here. I doubt there's... Oh, I doubt they're here for sightseeing. It seems they were retrieving an item. I better go and take the item as well. His name was Song Cho Park. He used to be a slasher in Choi and Jane. S Class C Slash Song Cho Park, the ghost. The reason why we went from a slasher, oh, from a slasher killing zombies. Expert zombie removal, special prize fees starting at 2 billion. To an X Slasher who now kills people using zombies. It was all because of money. Thank you for your hard work this month, Mr. Ghost. Is this it? Well, you didn't land many jobs, and you only had Jordan Simons this month. You know we give our clients discounts when they hire multiple slashers. 5 billion won is the right number after taxes and a firm 30% commission fee. 30% commission fee? God damn. Also with taxes? Fam, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Mr. Ghost, if you don't like what you're making, Work on your class level. You should be grateful to earn this much as a classy slasher and take some dangerous jobs for a change. I'll be looking forward to a better performance next month. Boy, she ain't shit. She she ain't worth two damn fly smash, boy. It was a protest against the inability to go beyond class C. Wow, was he tasked with bringing all those things back? I swear I'm going to kill them. 
I get to screw over that bit. Oh, I get to screw that bitch over and make the money off the items. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Exactly. Why I just can't get tired of this. And then you throw some steak at our face. Is this meat? Bruh. I know he's pissed. I know he is absolutely pissed. Oh, he's pissed. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> could, could this day get any worse? Don't say it. If you say that out loud, it might actually get fucking worse. But that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoy. You did make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Um, if you guys want this to stay on the channel, definitely let me know in the comment section as well. Um, you want to keep up with me, twist Twitter, Discord links. All of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.